Bryant against McGrady. Oh, McGrady versus Kobe Bryant, wow. When you first met, when you guys first got to know each other as teenagers, did you recognize right away you were kind of kindred spirits in the way you approached the game? Well, yeah, but he was he was freakishly more athletic and taller than I was. <laughs> and I had to get his work ethic. Because, yeah, because I was a little bit more reserved and never been around, you know, somebody worked as hard as he did. And I learned that from him. Yeah, I had the athleticism, but the work ethic part I had to get from being around him. So how old were you when you guys met? I think probably, I was 18, yeah, I was he was 19. 19. Right, because you're a year ahead. Yep. Yeah, this is when I, I knew, okay, he likes to play mind games and he always trying to get an edge on whoever, his opponents, whatever. I don't care if I'm his friend, I whatever. Never. So, right, I told him, I said, I'm about to go work out. And he was like, what are you going to work out for? You're in the off season, like, you don't need to work out. And I'm looking at him like, okay. <laughs> so, all right, go back to my room, change. Take it easy. Chill for a minute. I go to the weight room. <laughs> Who's in there? <laughs> this dude. <laughs> this dude. And I'm looking like, what? <laughs> okay. So I had to start taking notes like, this dude right here. So he's always going to have an edge on somebody. He had a hard time understanding what sarcasm was. Right. I was mm -hmm. just being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. Already had a year in the lead, <laughs> taking advantage of a young boy, you know. But I did. I remember we went to Disneyland and uh, somebody was afraid of roller coasters. I was going to ask about that. Somebody's afraid of roller coasters. It wasn't that I was afraid. Lisa, we just had lunch. <laughs> and this man trying to drag me on a roller coaster. I told him, like, bro, <laughs> was, it, was it maybe this roller coaster? Is this Yo. the roller coaster in question? Yo. Now, like, come the on, faces? man. What you couldn't see after is him <laughs> doing that after I <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> it messed my whole day up. I was so mad at him. He was, he was, he was not the same the rest nah. of the day. Wouldn't talk to me. Nah. Wouldn't say he was so pissed. All right, I was gonna wait till later, but I'm just gonna get to it now. So you have told a story yeah. about the two of you on a trip to Germany. Yes. Where y'all played one on one supposedly in a yes. gym, and according to you, you won. He's, yeah, he's oh, I did win. He supposedly smoked. We didn't well, I play. Did. We didn't play one on one. First of all, did you go to we, Germany? We, we did we, play we, one on one. We wasn't keeping score. What we were doing? Who wasn't keeping score? So what we were doing, we were working on our footwork on the post. We were working out individually, and then we were working on our stuff on the post. We wasn't keeping score. We, just, right, we now, was playing. We, now, if somebody's playing a workout, and if the person scores, they keep the ball, what is that? We wasn't keeping score. Have you ever been with him where he wasn't keeping score, That's though? the question. Yeah. Let's be honest. That's the question. Now that you know him, has he ever... I mean, please, he has a cup of coffee and keeps score okay. about who if finishes first. If he was keeping score, I was keeping score. But this 11 to 3. <laughs> what? 11 to 3. I this don't remember three. that. I, 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 I'm not going to pull a number out of thin air. You, you, I, I remember you, specifically. You can't believe the guy that doesn't even know the location where we were playing at. <laughs> it's okay, a different right? country, right. but that's yeah, fine. Okay. different now, country. Now, right. forget, forget this was, my by the way, 21 we've years ago. a lot of different countries. Yes. Now, country, the trip. country may be off. Now, I may forget. A lot of things. You forgot where we played. One at. thing I'm not going to forget is the score. It wasn't 11 3. Oh, it was. It's okay, though. No, it wasn't. It's all right, man. You had an off day. It's okay. It happens. You know, Germany, Paris, 11 <laughs> 3. Whatever. You had an off day, man. You know, it's, it happens to the best of us, man. So it didn't happen to me that day. I hear you. <laughs> it wasn't 11 3, though. I'll tell you that much. So you guys brought different things to it when you were teenagers and working out together and doing all that. He was, you know, straight out of high school, so high profile. How did you end up at his house? I just felt like, you know, he's been there, you know, in those those shoes. And I felt like what better person to learn from? This is all new to me than somebody that's already been through it. And, uh, you know, we became we hit it off. Stay at his house watching karate flicks. Gotcha. That's right. <laughs> Wait, Crazy karate flicks. Right. Yeah, that's right. We, we, we hung out together, <laughs> went to right. a spot. I was scared as hell because we ran into Mike Tyson. Like, <laughs> I went to stay away. We got stories. I have so many questions. Right we got stories. Look, I, like, everybody told me they, what they said is Tracy's potential is off the charts. His potential is off the charts. And for me, it was a time where. Um, I was getting a lot of flack for being a young player coming in the league, and I'm looking at another player coming out of high school, and I'm like, okay, we need to make noise. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to show these, the old, these guys. old guys mm -hmm. that we can come out of high school and do some serious damage. The older guard 
They're not so excited about having these young kids from high school come up together. My first year, I called him really, like every week or right, more. it was a lot that I talked to him on the phone because I was going through it and I know he went through his rookie season. So I had somebody to lean on like, yo, man, you know, you come out of high school, you you know, you the man, you getting all the shots and then you come to an NBA team and you'll play one game probably 20 minutes and you don't see the floor for another five. Yeah. Like it was just yeah. inconsistent and I was being buried and I was like, it was it was doing something to my confidence, yeah. right? So I had to lean on him at that time and we talked relentlessly. Yeah. I, my I, my response was I, I went the I went the villainous route. It was just like okay, well, you want to bury me here on this bench? Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna pay for this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show everyone that no, I was deserving of this playing time as a rookie mm -hmm. and as a you know, my sophomore season. Um, but I use it as motivation, some form of vengeance. Dell Harris, still to this day, I mean, we we talk, we joke about it a lot because he, I mean, he really didn't play me much. And uh, I remember that game when he came to L.A. with the Dallas Mavericks. And he oh, was, he was the head coach him. of that game. Yep. What, yeah, I looked over and I said, hmm. oh, yeah, he's going to have to pay for that. He's going to have to pay for that. I remember telling him that. He said, Cope, that was in 1997, hey, man. man. Don't let no, that I go. Yeah. Doesn't matter. No, I can't let that go. <laughs> now, Tracy has said to me that as he started to come up more in the league and that you guys became more rivals on the court, he says that's when you stop hanging out as much, not because you didn't like each other, but just back then it was like, hey, if you were going at each other for real, you didn't socialize. Enjoy the show. Guys, that was terrific. We'll take the microphones off and let's that's get out of here. Yeah. How you been, man? Good, dog. Right. Good. Doing good. Huh? Well, let me tell you, let me tell you a story. So when he uh, went to Orlando um, and we were trying to win our championships in LA, so I absolutely buried myself even more so in the craft and literally cut everybody out of my life and just focused on that. But I remember in the playoffs, you guys were playing the Milwaukee Bucks mm -hmm. in one year. And me and Vanessa went out to lunch and went to a restaurant and they had TVs in a restaurant. And I remember sitting there and watching, I mean, you just, just were cooking big mm -hmm. I mean, just like, mm -hmm. I think called him Puppy Dog, mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. it? Puppy Dog. And I remember sitting in the restaurant watching that and telling V, I said, man, that dude's the real deal. He's made it. I mean, we started out like as youngest yeah. together, but I remember feeling like such a sense of joy right. because of what he was doing. So even though I've never actually told him that, Aww. it was a sense of pride. And that, that's as mushy as I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's the extent I, of that. I accept. <laughs>